A good evening, this is Denerds the Human, and welcome to this AI-only Battle Royale in Rome Total War. And this time we have a special affair. The Roman legions of the infantry-only finale will take on their counterparts from Barbarian Invasion. In essence, this is the Republic versus the Empire. Who will you side with? As ever, we do have 3,000 denarii to spend, so I picked out units to fill the budget as best as I can. So for the Empire, we have the Julii, realistically, the uh, faction that became the Empire, I would say myself. Committed Tense's first cohort, more defence, slightly less on the attack front than their uh, SPQR counterparts. Some Palatina, very nice anti-cav units, but this of course is infantry only. But we will then throw in some Privantores, which are a bit of a wild card. They could be very, very interesting indeed. For the Republic, we have an SPQR with its own first cohorts. As I say, slightly different units, it should be said. And the Urban Cohorts, the chunkiest of all chunky units. They have less men, of course, but uh, can they pull off a victory? Can't quite manage to spend the last bit of uh, Denarii over there. So, um, unfortunately, these guys are not going to be completely efficient. But we'll see who's going to make it out on top on the South Water map. As ever, we are playing on medium difficulty, just to make sure there are no buffs or debuffs for any particular unit. And obviously there is a little modding to set this up, particularly with these Barbarian Invasion factions. If you want to do this yourself, there is a guide for adding units between the base game and the DLC. I'll put that in the description and above at the top right for now. But for the time being, let's get into battle and see how the AI fares. The music of March begins, and here come the Roman Senate. They're the ones we're going to make the move here. The Roman Empire just sitting there in the trees, learning clearly from their German enemies, the German friends of perhaps the modern era. And um, yeah, the Roman Republic are going to come in proud, and that might not work too well, actually, because the Urban Cohort do have quite a few more javelins, actually, than you're likely to see from this army. The Empire actually only really had the peeler, with the Committed Tense's first cohort there. Privatoria's hiding could prove very effective indeed. So we'll see how this comes. It's quite a slow approach though, it must be said. They're running on in, no javelins here. Okay, well that's uh, certainly of interest. I think now Empire, you really wanna be charging in. Oh yeah, here come the Peeler. What's that gonna do to them? Oh, they got the hit first though, the Empire hit first. And the first cohort are going to run on in. Palatina shrugged that off quite nicely. Definitely a good start for the Empire there. And yeah, the Palatina, how well are they going to hold out? This is intriguing. Certainly not one people are used to seeing. And I thought it would be of interest to, yeah, just have a little go uh, mixing up these barbarian invasion troops with the troops from old Rome. Now, okay, first cohort getting javelins here by the urban cohort. That is not ideal. And the general is right there. They're hitting at a good angle. That might just make all the difference. But we will find out soon enough. Privatoria has not really been used effectively here. Palatina. Oh, they are getting they are getting damaged now, aren't they? And have they done very much? It's about 20 each at this point. But the Palatina, well, there's much less of them. So we'll have to see how that goes. This general could actually be the key thing here. Because he's not in the best of positions. He should, though. Do a decent job of chunking these guys down. How do our stats compare? 14, 18, 24. And yeah, just so much less power here. 10, 11, but 27. A little bit more defense, but nowhere near as strong. And actually, I'm pretty sure these only have 10 on the morale. I might be mistaken there. But um, yeah, the Empire, well, not as strong as they were in earlier days. That has to be said. Generally speaking, the units aren't as good. Certainly some of the other factions catch up. But yeah, you'd think that the Republican units were slightly stronger. We will see, though, if any of this can be pulled off well. Private toys are not really being made the most use of here. 61 on them, 70 there. They need to go and get this general to succeed here. I think in a slugging match, the Spearmen are eventually going to lose. And that is a break on those Palatina. That's 20 of them. Private toys are just going to go and plug the hole. But I don't think it's going to end too well for them. Let's see how these sort of one-on-ones go here. Lots of poking and stabbing, but normally spearmen want to be information in a unit. And yeah, they're not currently doing that. Also, I guess the other thing is they... Do they normally have a shield wall option? I guess because we're in Rome, the Barbarian Invasion, that is not an option right now. So maybe playing this on Barbarian Invasion and bring the Roman units forward to that could have a different result. That's an intriguing point to bear in mind, although I doubt the AI would really be using it. 
but uh, something to think about for the future. 55 against 88, come on, first cohort. You've really got to win this. This is really their only opportunities to get a break. Private toys are holding on surprisingly well, and this Palatina are so split up. They are picking off one on ones a little bit, which might well work in their advantage, but I don't think it's going to work forever, is it? Press enter, because I have learned that from making these videos. So uh, thank you to uh, those of you in the comments reminded me to do that. These Auxilia are not coming back, and I think while this unit here might win, oh, I don't know that it's going to be enough. I'm not sure the other guys are going to do enough damage. They're tired, but they just don't break, do they? This is the thing with urban cohorts. Even when they're losing, they just will not give up. And, well, the private are holding on till pretty much the very last here. We're even with only four left against all of those first cohort. 57 and 48. There's no way that the Empire can do this. No, looks like the Republic have almost certainly got victory here. Commitances first cohort are going to win against urbans eventually. But uh, they might not get the chance to do it. They might not get the chance. Here comes the sandwich. They are going to be chopped down eventually. The Javelin's coming on in. They're now split up. They're not even going to get the chance to finish off that unit. That's a bit of a shame for them, isn't it? Bit of a shame. But we'll let them continue their chunk in here in beautiful, beautiful south water. And uh, I don't think it's going to... No, not going to last. They have been defeated Perhaps their victory for the favourites, and um, ooh, 158 to 257. They had the advantage of the men, but um, they didn't use them as effectively as they could. I would say, yeah, spears are always going to be at a disadvantage, albeit Palatinas are pretty nice. Could we maybe reorganise that in more first cohorts? Would they have a chance then? Maybe, just maybe, maybe using these guys better might have helped. They actually did very well. I, I'm surprised how long they stood there. Uh, let's see a little breakdown. First cohort, 98, 68 inflicted. You see, they're as strong as they are. They're, they're defensive units. That's what pretty much everything is on Barbarian Invasion. Get your ballista chariots out to rip everyone on apart. But these guys are just here to hold the line. In the end, though, that is, you've got to say, a pretty darn brutal victory for the Roman Republic. In we go then for round two. And this time I've gone for two of our first cohort a bit of extra attack and the privateurs we have a bit more defense and some experience hopefully that will see a slightly different result although they are currently wasting their energy running back and forth but um it might be a little while until the battle actually begins privateurs on this flank this time might work slightly better but we will see we might as well have a round two and just see if the empire can do slightly better with this setup of units i've got the same though for the republic and this time we've got the committed tenses both throwing their javelins in and they've hit an awful lot of those urban cohort early on as excellent work. Privateurs kind of wanted to flank them and then got distracted. <laughs> They're going to eat a few of those, but actually, yeah, this might work a little bit better. Look, they've been isolated now. The privateurs are going to pounce out of the trees and that's what we need to see. Urban cohort only at 76, but they are now going to get themselves surrounded. Okay. And if you can just hold them off, well, they seem to be holding them off here just by standing there. If they're about to get javelined, I don't think that's going to work too well for them. 102. And, oh, they took a lot of damage there. They really took a lot of damage. So don't turn your back. You're supposed to hold this front. Just hold that while this gets crushed. But, um, no, they've made some potential errors here once again. Private is hiding in the trees. Maybe they can do the job, but we will see. They've got the experience this time and maybe it'll work out. Let's see how this battle unfolds. Plaventor is just sneaking around the trees, but they are losing these one-on-ones pretty consistently, it must be said. Uh, legendary first cohort down to 98 there, but that isn't going to be enough. I think Republic has very much got this once again. It's just the oven coat don't break. Look at that, 15 and isolated, still steady. Uh, it's down to 10-ish when they finally give up. Now, are they going to be fools and chase them down and waste their energy? Support your fellow chap there. They're going to throw their peeler at the few lads running away. Get in and help the rest of your troops, lads. And I don't think it's going to be enough, though. 40 urban cohort. And uh, what have we got there? 71. Actually, this could be close. I think. I think the Republic should still win this. But with the privateers, can just get around the back. Might just convince the... Uh, yeah, Legionnaires here, that they might just want to run away, but I don't think it's going to be enough here. 1365, 
yeah, 53, 23. I mean, the numbers are pretty equal right now. Slightly higher defense versus slightly higher attack, but there's a break. That's a break for the Repub for the Empire, sorry. And uh, down to two, hardly surprised at that point. 57 and 8. It might just come down to, yeah, the units getting weakened too soon here. Shaken and exhausted. They are gone. And as we come to the end here, 45 against 35 and 16. I mean, can they do it? They've got experience. They've got an extra bit of sword on them. Is that going to be enough? Can the, can the Republic actually get themselves around the flanks? Oh, they actually are. They are, but that's a break. They gave up their uh, defense there. 29 versus 36. Oh, this. This is what we want to see, right down to the proverbial wire. Tree of Destiny then, this tree here is going to decide who wins and who loses a 3v2 on this side and it's, oh, this looks like it's good for the Empire actually. They seem to have somehow picked up a numerical advantage on both flanks here. Down to 14 and the extra defence is going to carry them and it must be said, it's a much less emphatic victory for the Empire. But uh, if this were, yep, if you were to compare, at the very least, it is 1-1. At the end of that, then, it must be said on the stat screen that this is an incredibly close affair. Only two men different in terms of the deployment numbers. Kills only 38 difference between them. That could be the odd stray javelin here or there. My choice to add extra attack on this guy here. Maybe the extra experience on those privateurs. Who knows? On that note, by the way, they actually did quite well. 38 sustained to 37 inflicted against very strong units like that. I'd say they did a pretty darn good job. Indeed, thank you for joining me on this AI Omni affair. While we do have a Medieval 2 Rebels series currently running on the channel, we will have more random battle royales just like this coming up every so often, so do have a look out for those. Do also give me your suggestions for other setups we could do in the comments down below. And you can, of course, support the channel by becoming a member here or on Patreon by liking, subscribing, and also getting involved in that comment section. I hope you will join us next time, but for now, I will leave you. I am Tenez the Human. Thank you, friends, and goodbye. Suffice to say, I could be doing a better job of, you know, not burning down my own city. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's the kind of hit we won. Let it not be said that our emperor doesn't lead from the very front to hack down the peasants. This is about to go horrendously wrong. It's absolutely fine. It just gives these guys a reminder to maybe aim better next time. <laughs>